Hi there YouTube, Big G, back again with another video and a parcel in the mail. Something arrived today, I know what it is, but I'll open it for you now. Let me first just have a sip of coffee. As Butthead1000 always says, a sip of coffee for that and so forth. Uh, check out his channel, he's got a really great channel. Um, so let's open up. What, I, what happened recently is that um, I had some Atari... It was an Atari disk drive and tape drive and a couple of other Atari uh, goodies that I did a trade for uh, with another collector uh, based up in Cape Town. And uh, this is what I received. Something I've been after for quite a while as well. So let me just open up here for you. And there we have it, the Amstrad GX4000. Now this never came to South Africa, uh, I've never seen one in South Africa, I've never seen one in the wild, I've never seen one anywhere. And uh, this was Amstrad's attempt at getting into the console market. I've got a couple of Amstrad's in my, no I've got one left, CPC 464 left in my collection. and. Uh, I actually haven't played a game on it for a while, but yeah, that reminds me. Maybe I need to play a couple of Amstrad games again. And I love the look of the Amstrad computers and so forth. This was their foray into the console market. Um, how many units they sold, I have no idea. It's got quite a strong following. Uh, if I have a look at Novabug's uh, channel, um, who's an absolute uh, Amstrad nut, so he often uh, has a lot of the GX4000 stuff, but I've always, I've always liked the look of this. Let me open it up and show you. It's the first time I'm opening it as well. And there we have it. Well, it's difficult to see actually which is the right way up. Got a lovely futuristic sort of design. It's actually nice and small in the hand. I actually like it. It actually looks really good. And I see that it does come with the uh, burning rubber. This was the packing title for it. Uh, controllers. Got one controller for it. I'm not sure if I can use any other controller. Let's just have a look here. And it's got an extra power supply, that's right. So, got the unit, got the game, got the extra power supply. And uh, really looking forward to giving this Amstrad GX4000 a try. Well, let's do a quick play and test, guys. So, yeah, I've got it set up. I've put burning rubber in. I've connected the joy controller. I fortunately have a SCART con uh, uh, cable there, so I'm very chuffed that this has a SCART cable. Uh, so SCART from there through to the AV on my flat screen. Okay, so she's all set up and let's switch on. Got a lovely sound. Now, I've never played this game before, Burning Rubber, I have absolutely no idea. So let's give it a play and see what uh, the GX4000 can do. Reminds me a bit of pole position, although the graphics are not bad. I mean, it's nice and smooth. Hey, I like the sound effects, the smoke. I'm not sure if I'm supposed to change gears there. Hopefully, I'm in an auto box. That wasn't good. 
Okay, I am in an auto box. Sound effects are good. And I must say, the graphics, yes, they are blocky, but this is 8 bit. It's nice and colorful. And the sound is great. Time 1.02. You have qualified for ninth position. Oh wow. So that's my first play on the uh, GX4000. And guys, I give it a thumbs up. Great little console this. I must say, I'm really enjoying it. The controller's not bad on the hand. Sound effects are great. Hopefully I'll be able to get a multi-card for it so I can play some of the uh, other titles. Because I think these games are going to be really hard to come by. And I mean, ju judging from this first game that I'm playing, it plays really well. It's got the hardware to give to knock out a really good 8-bit game. Sound, graphics, everything seems to be there. Okay guys, I hope you enjoyed that. A uh, quick pick up and play uh, for my new acquisition, which is the Amstrad GX4000. So cheers from me guys, and remember, keep it retro.